Grasslands edition of man, this is I'm just in a crazy hotel room. And why am I doing a video from a hotel room? I'll explain. But but look, I just got here, right? Here's my my hotel room in the Double Tree in Tulsa, Oklahoma. What am I doing in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Well, I just got done with the tournament TTO on Texoma. And then I have to drive up here from the tournament and I've got to meet with Strike King. We're working on a bunch of new projects. So I'm gonna be here for a couple of days. So I literally, I called up my VRBO that we were staying at at Texoma. I asked them if I could leave my boat there for a couple of days. Uh, luckily they said yes. And then I just drove up here, got up here tonight. And I've got, uh, we just got done with our two day event on Texoma. Me and Anthony Jones, we finished seventh. So made quite a bit of money because uh, since we're fishing the TTO and you get a check, you make some money. You actually make money. Not for first or second, but for like seventh. I think we won like 3,000 for seventh. Uh, and we only fished against 50 guys. So yeah, uh, it's freaking an awesome deal. Like I always said, they, they paid back $80,000 on a tournament with 50 teams. Just let that compute a little bit when most most trails are have 250 and won't pay that much. So anyways, we did good there. And on my way here, like there are some things that popped up and that's why I wanted to do this video. So I've got some history with Texoma. Uh, I've, I've won a couple tournaments on Texoma, came in a lot of seconds, a lot of top tens. Over, and I don't know if I've actually explained this, but Texoma was this weird lake to me in, in a sense of, it, Texoma made a lot of sense to go catch fish on, right? Kind of dink around, kind of catch some fish, do some things. It never did any good for me, right? It never like won me anything. And I struggled on Texoma and for a while. And I, I fished a BFL regional there and on day two, it clicked. Like day two, it really happened about midway through day one, but day two is when I put it all together and smashed them on day two. Um, I ended up coming in second in the event. It was a three day regional and I, I got beat by like less than a couple of ounces by Jeff Reynolds, who's like pretty much dominates that lake. So, I mean, I, I didn't really put it, I didn't, I, I was learning on the fly. Okay. And from then on, boom, I have like, I get Texoma. I do really good up there. I fish it differently. I look at it differently. Every time I'm there, I, I've, I figured out the large mouth and the small mouth, the small mouth are a big deal. And that's how I fish. And this is what this video is about because the, the problem is, is I don't consider myself a local on Texoma by any means, but I know a lot about Texoma. Like I have, I've put in a lot, a lot of hours on Texoma, learning things, trying to get off the beaten path, really figure some things out. And I've had success doing it. And, and when I go there, that's what I go do. I don't do anything else. <laughs> well, I get there and I, I'm in my boat and Anthony's in his boat. And this is the first time me and Anthony have ever fished together. So we got to figure some things out. Right. We got to, we got to, we don't know each other that well in the sense of we know each other, but we don't, there's, there's a way you go about practice and looking at things. And the first time you fish with someone, I've done this enough now to where, man, I get all the hard conversations out of the way. Like, Hey man, we're going to be real open and honest and go through things and, and do everything. And, and it was great. Me and Anthony like clicked instantly, but I also have fished enough with people to what will happen over time is if you fish with a team partner, you'll start to think alike, which is really good. The problem is if you went to Texoma or you go to these lakes and you think alike, you go out there looking for the right thing and it's great if it's working. It wasn't working and it wasn't working and it wasn't working bad. Like I've never seen it this bad. Like it was so bad how I usually catch them. It, and it wasn't just me. Uh, 
a lot of my buddies have we we all kind of started fishing a certain way everyone was struggling and it showed in the results what was cool was he had kind of anthony knew some things that that he had gotten bit on and and did before there was an off limits and he had that going i just went up there like man i only need a day or two anyways i'll be fine no so day one was horrible at the end of the day the very end of the day with like 30 45 minutes left i see this fish blow up on the bank i hadn't seen that since i've been here and i was like oh, whatever and i went over there and threw on it and caught it like it was easy i was going whatever it's 6 30 it's getting dark um we had to be off the water by seven so i go down these bank and i catch two more i catch two more and i was like huh but it's a six star it's an evening deal like i get it it's the evening you can catch fish in the morning in the evening for the first hour like didn't think much about it get back me and anthony talk everyone talked about how hard it was horribly hard all that stuff anthony was like man i didn't get on any top water stuff what do you think i said ah man go go uh yeah here's here's what i caught him on go go try it like here's an area you know this area but i would go i, I think it's set up the same way i said i bet you you're gonna get a couple bites i'm thinking two or three bites would be a big deal so he goes out there the next day and i hear from him about 10 or 11 or something he's like oh yeah i'm getting bit and i'm like yeah, I know, but like I was trying to figure them all out. And he's like, no, I mean, I, yeah, I got bit here and there. And man, I've been, I've been to all these other places. And I keep on getting bit. And, and he just kept on getting bit all day long. And I'm going, I'm, I kind of got to bite some bites here or there, but for the most part, struggle. And I'm trying to figure out, he's explaining what he's doing and I'm trying to figure it out. And he's doing what I'm doing, but I'm trying to like get it down. I'm trying to understand. I, I gave him something as a, as a thought. And he takes it and runs with it and makes it his own. So in the end, what happened was, is I gave him a little bit and he took off with it. And then I couldn't figure out what I gave him, how to make it work for me. This is the crazy part about this video is that he knows Texoma and I know Texoma. And I have a certain way of catching them and all these other guys too, right? We're, we're used to going down there and and even though we're not locals, we have this mindset of this is how we've caught them for years. And you get tunnel visioned, right? I mean, you're, 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 you're not getting bit and you're trying to make it work because you know, this is how to win. And so I'm sitting there, I got to catch this like 15 to 20 pounds, really like 18 pounds. And I'm going and going and going and it doesn't happen. And it was so bad in practice. And he started getting bites and I had a couple bites too. And, and I was like, all right, but I don't, I think it's bad, but you know, everyone always catches them. But we went out there on day one and, and we tried to go for like an hour. So like get, get my stuff an hour. Cause I, it's the morning time. We'll catch one or two, man. There were people everywhere. It wasn't working. And we went back to just doing what we had figured out a little bit in practice and caught them caught him we didn't we didn't we weren't blowing it out but we had a limit fairly quick and we were kind of worried about a limit i was anthony said he wasn't because he had had all these bites and it was neat because i i understand that if i'd have gone out there with my mindset even though i told him kind of where to go and what to do to a degree now hear me out like i gave him an area but he took that area and dissected it differently than I would have. And I purposely didn't try to dial it in for him. I wanted him, I, I know better. I know that like his open-mindedness to all this, let him just look at everything real. And I would have been narrow-minded because I would have been like, well, I've caught him here, I've caught him here. He just went fishing and figured out something that helped. Now, what was crazy was we took that on day one we had some we had some bites that missed. We didn't lose anything. They just missed. And but we we caught our fish. We were sitting in eleventh place, but we knew we had a chance because of of the bites we had. And once we kind of caught them, we went and tried to do other stuff to try to catch a big one and try to catch this big bag. 
Well, 14 pounds is leading this thing. I haven't seen 14 pounds lead at an event over there in forever. Like, it was tough. There was like six of us with 11 pounds or something. I mean, guys weren't catching limits. It, it was bad. The next day, though, we roll out there and we had this weather change. We had a north wind. It was dead glass and sunny the day before and hot. We had this little front come through, had a north wind. It was a little bit cooler, some cloud cover in the morning. We went out and, 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 and changed it up a little bit. Like we hit certain spots differently. We caught some fish uh, or we had a bite. I, I caught one within like the first three minutes. Um, we had a lot of bites and they missed it. And, but we stayed with it and we just kept on plugging away, plugging away. And here's what the crazy part was. We had these certain banks, like certain pockets that we were fishing. Like one side of the pocket would look different than the other sometimes, or like there'd be sections. And in a lot of the day one, we caught them on this like horrible looking stuff. That's what we figured out. It was like the worst looking banks, the like stuff that no one hits. And all the good looking stuff that everyone hits, never could get a bite on it. And it's crazy that that's how we caught them. And the next day, we're going down there and we start running. We didn't hit everything Anthony had, had found. So we're running some of this stuff. And he's like, see this pocket right here? I'm like, yeah. He goes, we got bit all down that bank. There was a boat over there. They weren't in the way, but we just, we weren't going to get close to them. So we kind of come down here and we start fishing around. We get a bite. And then we get another bite. And I'm like, did you get bit on? He's like, no, no, no. I, I fished all this. Never had a bite over here. Everywhere we went was like that. Everywhere we went, he's like, well, I got bit there. And we fished through it and keep going and then get bit. And we watched the whole thing change. All of it changed. It changed from, from those bad looking banks to the good banks and from the back of the pockets to the front of the pockets. And they weren't on any structure the day before. Now they were like, we had to catch like it was either a rock or a, or a stick or a lot, something. And, and before we never caught anything off that, it was just insane how it changed. And that's what I'm talking about. There's two things to this video. I'm going to make another video. This video is more about like the tunnel vision and about how your local lake, like the lake, you know, and although this isn't my home lake, like I know it, I, I feel pretty confident in this. Lake. This is like, everyone always asks me, what's your favorite lake? It takes almost like, top three favorite lakes of all time for me. And it's crazy that if, if I'd have gotten in this tunnel vision, right, I, I would have done bad. I'd have, I wouldn't have done good. And luckily me and Anthony, where you worked really well together, we, we were very open with everything. We were able to dissect what we wanted to do and then have the, uh, the freedom to see it change and then change with it. And so we ended up catching them better on day two moved up to seventh and it was it was it was pretty cool because i mean we had a we had a really fun day we never lost anything uh either day we fished really clean had a good time uh if y'all don't know anthony's the guy i did a live video with him on, on the bassmaster opens so I, I i haven't looked at any of the footage from the video i don't know if i'm gonna post anything from the from the tournament like i said i haven't looked at it i don't know if it looks good i don't know if there's bugs all over the camera i don't know I'm going to have to go back and look at it. But the video is, is sometimes it helps to, to get away, right? A different perspective, a different outlook on something. Because if, if I'd have gone how I'd been going for years and tried to catch this giant bag, I'd have done horrible. And what, here's the crazy part. Uh, 14 pounds was still the biggest bag out of two days on that lake. That's unheard of. And so... We wouldn't try to go for this big bag. We just went for, we just try to catch fish. If we caught a big bag, great. If not, no big deal. But I went back to the, my old school tactics of Texoma, of just kind of grinding it out and, and, and picking one off every little, like every hour or two. That's what we did. So like I said, sometimes when you're struggling, sometimes when you're on your leg, your palm, whatever it is in your life, what is the deal? I'm in this funk. I'm in this, I'm, I can't get out of my own way because this is how I've always caught them here. It, man, try to get out of your way. Step back and go, okay, wait, let's throw all this stuff away. 
and just go, I'm going to do something a little bit different. If y'all know me in my videos, man, I'm, I always preach this. And I preach it because it comes into play. It comes into play with so much of fishing these days. I think the pressure of people, I think all the pressure of these different tactics on how to catch them are changing these fish. And so what used to work and used to be so reliable is getting less reliable. It still works. It just doesn't work like it used to. Like, oh man, it's September 1st. I always catch them like this. It seems like things are changing. And, and that's why I always preach it, man. Like change with it, change with it. Try to get it, step out of your own way, get a different perspective. Maybe this will help. Like I said, uh, yeah, now I'm in this hotel room, maybe watch a game. Might even have, yeah, yeah. The old double tree, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hopefully my boat's there when I get back and all my stuff since I just left it at the BRBO. Huh. Yeah. Uh, what else am I supposed to do? All right. See y'all guys in the hotel room. Oh, yeah.